Jake Shipton from Dorset and I'm 28 now, so I'm getting on. I know, I say 27 or 28, I'm still not sure. And then Chelsea goes, you're 28. I'm like, oh, I'm like, yeah. Last year I took a step away from racing, um, even though I'm here now. Yeah, i become a dad, bought a place, got involved with the business. And um, yeah, it's just been totally different than what I'm used to, you know, from training like every day a week or every day, um, and then riding two or three days a week. It's been, uh, yeah, it's been so up and down, like missing racing, but then also becoming a dad and having a lot of stuff to do. I've kind of, forgot about riding then all of a sudden it come up on me like right this is like what I'm here for you know um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it but then now I'm getting that bug back you know it's kind of like well they always say a race is always a racer and uh, coming off like my best year I you know went down the pan kind of thing the year after so yeah and getting involved with the Pico and Husqvarna I love the bike from the moment I sat on it so yeah it'd be silly not to uh, come back you know it's kind of didn't work out this season, but um, next season I wish to be back um, full bore. This bike's only done eight hours and I rode like a 125 89 Evo twice, so 10 hours max probably. Um, loads of mountain biking and messing about um, with my son, which feels weird to say. Um, Hudson watching him grow up, so it's been good being at home in uh, yeah, spending time with the family as well, it's been nice. I think it's, for me, it's more like the structure. Like I woke up every Monday knowing right, I'm training today, riding Tuesday, Wednesday, got a race this weekend. But then also the, like the cheesy typical saying, you never get that feeling of a win or like behind the start line. So yeah, I've missed that hell of a lot. And I raced an Evo race a couple weeks ago and done like really well. And um, yeah, it's just kind of like relit that spark. Just that racing environment, you know, everyone's there buzzing to be racing. It's a good crack. Everyone's like friendly, but then they also want to kick your ass out on track. So it's kind of got that bit of like, oh, you're right, mate. Oh yeah, still going to come at the inside of you. So yeah, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hang on for 25 minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to do a race with the Pico this year because I missed, like, I wanted to get involved with them so much, but I've always been, towards the top end I didn't want to come back unprepared or anything so now at least I have like a month back on a bike and feel half decent you know so hopefully I can last 25 minutes and uh, speed and everything feels all right but you never know until you get behind the start line again I feel like a six-year-old again again to my first club race you know I'm like and all the Red Bull stuff the Picos it brings that like buzz back which I miss towards like the end of the last couple of years um, where now you turn up, you see all the tents and everything, it's kind of brung that light, right, we're at the races kind of thing, which is exciting. <laughs> to get off the gate and around the first turn in one piece, um, but yeah, if I can get a couple of top tens, that'd be all right, you know, I'd just plod around. Well, to be honest, if I can finish the 25 minutes and not feel hanging, that'd be like a good day for me. And like, I've this year's kind of changed like now I'm um, it's more not for fun I, like you're still a racer you still want to do really well but just to be on the start line with the top guys in this country again is like exciting and where I was before I'm nowhere near that but um, you yeah, know I've still got that excitement to go and race with the top boys again basically I'll be going back full-time racer rider from October um, so I'll be training again flat out, getting ready for next season, where I miss so much this season. Um, I've got some amazing sponsors that are kind of paying me to ride. So um, yeah, I'm all in again. I'm here to do good. Uh, I'd love to stay with Dylan, just to kind of repay, like he's stuck by me this season when I've done nothing. So um, yeah, I went through a lot in the winter with guys dropping out. There's endless story, but yeah, with the Pico, Aunt Dylan and Anna have been like amazing. So um, I'd love to like stay with these guys and have a good solid year with them.